Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Today, I want to talk about wheels, and in more particular, I want to talk about what role the spokes play in a wheel. You're like, how do they work? How do they make sure that your wheel stays true and round? So let's get into it. So not too long ago, I did a review of bird wheels or bird spoked wheels. As you can see, these spokes are completely floppy, right? Um, so that might make you wonder, like, how in the world does this work? How does this hold a wheel together? Well, in order for you to understand that, you have to understand what role the spokes play in a wheel. Um, let's take a regular spoke, right? This is a regular metal spoke. This particular spoke is what's called double butted. It's thicker on the ends, thinner in the middle, and it has an aluminum spoke nipple. Um, the reason why I prefer double butted spokes is because I want them to be lighter, right? So if you look at this spoke, it's not very stiff, right? I mean, it's metal, but it is not in any way stiff enough to like hold a wheel being pushed up from the bottom. So in reality, neither one of these are gonna hold your wheel in place when you're pushing up from the bottom, right? <laughs> There's just no way that that's gonna work. So how do spokes work? Well, what makes spokes work in a wheel is what's called tension. The spokes are arranged, you know, throughout the hub and there's cross lacing going opposite directions. The whole reason you do cross lacing because you, you could just do the spokes straight, right? But the reason you do this cross pattern and you have this spoke pulling this direction and that spoke pulling that direction is so the hub doesn't rotate within the wheel. So that's why you have cross lacing. Right? Um, if we were to just go straight to the rim, which would actually save a lot of weight, right? You'd be able to literally grab the hub and be able to twist it back and forth inside the wheel. And you don't want that. When you pedal forward and you have that torque, <laughs> you want the wheel to go with it. So that's why we do this crossing, right? And then what also is going on is we have these spokes really tight and tension. So when the wheel is being hit from the bottom, let's just say you're landing hard off a jump, it's not these spokes down here that are holding the, the wheel or preventing the rim from squishing in, right? Or the wheel from going up this way, right? That's not how it's happening. What's preventing the wheel from going up this way are these spokes up on top. They're being activated because they're pulling the rim this direction. So this whole rim is getting pulled this direction. So when you hit on this side, these spokes up here get activated and are holding the rim in place. There will be a little bit of compliance. So that's built into the rim. So different rims will have a different amount of compliance. Aluminum rims have a certain feel and compliance to them. Carbon rims have a certain feel. Uh, some companies will make rims really stiff which will give you a harsher ride. Some companies will make rims a little more compliant to give a softer ride. So the rim itself is really what's gonna give you a compliant ride versus a stiff ride. And then it's the spokes that are going to keep it, you know, relatively, uh, keep the hub relatively centered within the rim. And I say relatively, because if you do a hard hit, right, the rim will go out around very slightly, you probably won't even ever notice it. I mean, even in, in slow motion photos, you can hardly see the rim go out around, but it could. And they, these spokes down here will flex and bend inward. And these spokes up here will hold everything in place because the, everything's going in this direction. 
and these spokes are pulling the opposite direction to prevent the rim from getting pushed up. So that's how spokes work, is they, they hold the wheel by pulling tension. So that's why these spokes actually work and do their job, is they're being pulled really tight and tension. No different than a metal spoke is also being pulled tension, right? And then on the bottom side, a metal spoke during a hard hit will have a little bit of give to it. This is where these bird spokes come into play. They give even more give. They'll give even more compliance on the bottom. So that allows manufacturers to build more compliance in the rim and really dial in that ride feel. Um, yeah, it's very interesting when you start thinking about how wheels work and how they can actually be tuned to uh, be really stiff or be more compliant. So if you're thinking of like mountain biking, um, on my titanium Hey Duke over here, I have the carbon bird Hawk 27 rims uh, with bird spokes and that bike feels super compliant. Even though it's a hardtail, I can be going over rough terrain and it feels pretty smooth. It feels really good going over rough terrain. So I have all this combination of things going on with that bike. As a hardtail, first it's a titanium frame, and the frame itself is going to have a certain amount of compliance. And you add in the amount of compliance in the wheel, and it's almost like having what we used to call a soft tail. Um, soft tails used to be frames that had just a small amount of suspension. A lot of times they just use like an elastomer or something like that, and there was a little bit of flex in the rear end and things like that. You don't really need a soft tail anymore because the technology has gotten to a point where they just kind of can build the compliance in the frame. And now we can build the compliance in the wheels and so on. And it's pretty amazing how far technology has come. Um, but then if we come over here, <laughs> I'm talking about a BMX bike, right? Well, what does a BMX bike do? Well, it gets serious abuse. You're jumping, you're landing, I'll be doing airs in the... Uh, quarter pipe or off a jump and I'll case really hard and things like that. Well, in a case like this, you want everything to be really stiff and as strong as possible. And where that strength is built is in the rim. Not in the spokes, not in the hub, not anywhere else. The rim is the key to everything. And then the spokes are going to hold a really stiff rim in place and that rim is going to rarely ever want to go out around it might still have a little bit of give and flex but not much at all and they'll do double wall triple wall they'll do vertical supports inside the rim things like that to make a rim really stiff and then say like a 29er mountain bike like this is for they probably build a little bit of flex and compliance in the rim so the rim will actually flex a little bit and then the spokes down here will give a little bit and these spokes up here will be what takes on the pressure and the tension in keeping the wheel you know in place so that's really in a nutshell how it works so this technology is interesting in the sense that now because it is you know so loose and floppy on the bottom side that allows manufacturers to put more focus on the rim and compliance within the rim and realize that the spokes just going to do its job from the top and down here it's going to allow the rim to do what it needs to do versus a spoke like this that's going to give less amount of flex and movement in the rim which you may want in some applications, like think downhill, right? If you're doing downhill, you want your wheels to be a lot stiffer. But we never want things to be what we consider rock solid. Pink Bike actually just did a video on this uh, just a few days ago um, and compared a rock to a sponge, right? Well, 
a rock and having something just super rigid and stiff and whatever is actually at more risk of breaking than something that has a little bit of give and compliance to it. So it's uh, really important to understand that. You don't always want things to be as stiff and firm and rock solid as they can be. You definitely want a certain amount of compliance and bending and flex as long as it's designed to go back to its original shape, right? And it'll consistently do that over, you know, thousands of miles of abuse, <laughs> then, then you're good to go, right? Um, so there you have it. So just kind of a recap. The spokes up here are what's supporting the wheel when the pressure's down here. So when you land off a jump and you hit really hard, these spokes get activated and hold the whole wheel in place. These spokes get relaxed <laughs> and uh, don't do a whole lot to hold the wheel in place. So it's all what's going on up here. What's pulling the rim down towards the hub. So hopefully that makes some sense. <laughs> I appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.